Welcome to Twin Bush. There's a new tips and tricks episode. Today it's about the limit switch setting on the S310E model. Our own types are installed. One with the long sensor arm. One with the short sensor arm. On the one side, the limit switch is mounted directly on the safety lock. And we have the limit switch with the short arm fixed to the side of the base frame. It ensures the upper disconnection. Now you may wonder what the limit switch on the safety lock does. The following. The safety lock is monitored by the limit switch. This means that the limit switch gives a signal to the control. In fact, the control system uses the position of the limit switch to recognize whether the safety catch is unlocked or whether the safety lock is active. When the safety catch is unlocked, then the lift can be lowered. Normally there's a minimal space here. This would be the perfect setting. If the catch is still engaged, the lift would go up a bit first to unlock. Now I'll show you how to adjust the limit switch. It's very easy. A size 3 Allen key is required. The length of the sensor arm can be adjusted. And the angle of the sensor arm can also be adjusted at the same time. This small screw has to be loosened for this. It can be turned then. A second limit switch is also installed. The one with the short sensor arm. It can also be adjusted with the size 3 Allen key. It's installed for the upper disconnection. I'll show you where it goes. You can see the limit switch for the upper disconnection in this area. It is touched by the cross beam while lifting up. This means that the lift moves up, touches the small roll on the sensor arm, and it switches off the lift while moving up. It works well with the setting at the 2 o'clock position or 45 degrees upwards. This means, this would be 90 degrees, and 45 degrees would be an ideal setting. I'll show you now. The lift was switched off. There should be enough space to unlock in the position where it turns off. So that there's clearance here when lowering. 